What up everyone? It's our last day here in Rome and we are going to make the absolute most of it. We've got Ali Bear. Hi. We've got my babe Daniel here and we've got Shawnee Bear who actually went back to the hotel to put pants on because he's a little too chilly. <laughs> so we are actually on the hunt for some good crepes. We're looking, oh did Daniel find one? He, he might have found one. We're trying to find some good crepes before we head to Vatican City. Super excited. Hopefully the lines and everything aren't going to be too crazy long. Don't really know what to expect. Don't see any crepes here. No luck. Aww. I already got started. I couldn't wait. This crepe might win the best crepe award. Just because holding it, it is so thick in my hands. It feels like a sandwich. It feels like a breakfast sandwich. Do I have chocolate on my face? Yeah. walking past this really, really cool alleyway right behind this very old Catholic church. And right when we set up here, I swear like three or four walking tours came through. So we just waited it out and now it's empty again. And are they cool? Yeah, they're cool. They're cool. Sometimes we like to get photos just in places like this rather than in front of famous monuments because at the monuments we it's like always the, crowded like, it's hard to frame it up we like the random not popular kind of like secluded areas for photo shoots of us i mean i love taking photos of the monuments but photos of us i'd way rather do in like a cool secluded kind of not so you know traffic driven area they know they know Guys, we're here in Vatican City. Pretty insane. There's St. Peter's Basilica and there's just thousands of chairs set up here for I guess when the Pope will come out and address the people. The basilica here was actually built on the site of an old basilica or chapel from 400 AD. This one was actually started in 1500 and finished on my birthday, November 18th, 16... On your birthday? 1626, I think it was. Baby, you weren't born yet. No, no, I, but years later, I would be... <laughs> And also, supposedly, this is the burial site of St. Peter, which is pretty incredible, as well as a ton of popes and cardinals. Vatican City guards, very cool, colorful uniforms. But we're gonna go see if we can get inside this place. We don't necessarily wanna pay to go to the very top because it looks like the top of St. Peter's Basilica is all caged off, kind of like the top of the bell tower back in Florence. So we're not super interested in that. We're also feeling pretty satisfied because we did get to go to the top of the Florence Cathedral. But we do wanna get inside here. We wanna see the altars, we wanna see the Pope, and we wanna see the beautiful paintings and frescoes that are inside of it. So we're gonna go see how long, how much it might cost us to get in here. Hey babe, no leader hosens or overalls in here, okay? Oh dang it.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. This chapel is amazing. So different than the Florence Cathedral. I cannot believe how much gold is on these ceilings and how ornate everything in here is. The statues, the marble, it is so beautiful. Many popes are buried here. I think 91 popes are buried here. We were also lucky enough to catch that procession of, honestly, I don't know who they were, but obviously they were high up enough to be able to come into the church and just sing as they walked down the aisle. And it was very, very cool to see that. And then they proceeded to read or sing some scriptures down here at the end of the aisle. And that was really cool to catch because their voices echo so well in this basilica with all these massive open spaces and ceilings. Very, very cool to see. And also, we found out that it's totally free to get in here. We only waited in line for 20 minutes. Maybe we caught it on a good day, but no tickets, no fee, no nothing to come into St. Peter's Basilica. I think that's very cool that people can come in here and see this without having to pay. We actually went into one of these side chapels here that are exclusively for prayer, no video, no photos. And honestly, it was one of the prettiest rooms I've ever seen. It was so ornate, but we sat in there for a minute. We did not video in there to be respectful, yep. but wow, it was incredible. The giant wall here surrounding the Vatican, keeping it safe from outsiders. It's massive, this is like 40 feet tall. These are the hallways leading down to the Sistine Chapel where Michelangelo painted the famous artwork on the ceiling in here. But even these hallways walking down to the Sistine Chapel are very, very gorgeous. So beautiful. Everything here is like just grand and like wow. Sistine Chapel was cool. Definitely a lot of people packed in there, but we were able to stand there and enjoy it, just look up at it for as long as we wanted and then moved on. We found ourselves back out in front of St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City, and there are not very many people here. So we're actually gonna go back in because it's free and then see how long it would take us to go up to the top of the dome. It's kind of getting near sunset and we think being up there would be really, really cool. I think it's only 10 euro. So we're gonna go figure out if that's gonna be an option. Guys, we missed the top of the dome. They closed about 20 minutes before we got there. We lingered a little too long eating a calzone. It was delicious, but I don't know if it was worth missing the dome, but that's okay. We're here at the <laughs> Spanish Steps, which is another cool spot here. We're gonna go up to the top of them and see if we can get a cool view of the sunset. All right guys, it is our last night here in Europe and we honestly are really sad that it's come to an end. So long. 
<laughs> well, I'll feed us and goodbye. <laughs> thank you, Sean. Thank you. <laughs> I cannot believe that this trip has come to an end. This is something Daniel and I have been planning for over a year. And something I have dreamt of, like, pretty much my whole life, just doing a crazy Europe tour. And this has given me, I mean, I feel like I've always had a little bit of the travel bug, but this has given me one even more so. This guy over here has been pretty much everywhere in the world. If you ask me, he's been there. He is so well-traveled. And I've always been so jealous of that. And this has given me a little taste of that and definitely more of a travel bug. I for sure want to come back to Europe, do a whole nother side of it. I want to go see so, oh, I'm just excited, babe. Are you excited? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. We've got a lot of travels ahead of us this year even, but we are so sad this trip's coming to an end. We're super excited to go home just to see our little baby Lou. Guys, we miss that little oh, dude miss so, Louis much. so much. <laughs> we miss Louie and our bed <laughs> so much. Man, Europe, we love you and we are going to miss you. Thank you so much for having us and showing us the time of our life. I would say my favorite city, I would have to say Amsterdam. Honestly, I would. It kind of just stole my heart. I don't know. I just like loved it. Babe, what was your favorite city? Honestly, I loved Amsterdam also. I really loved Florence. I oh, thought Florence okay. was so cool. Just the history there, everything. It was a really cool, chiller atmosphere. Did you guys have a favorite between Florence and Rome? Florence. Florence for me. Yeah. Too. Florence, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good to know. I Good had to been know. to Rome before and so it was nice to go to Florence and experience something new. Rome is very cool, tons of history, but Florence was more enjoyable for me. Guys, we love you so much. Thank you for coming along this epic, 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 I'm truly a bingham <laughs> for saying epic, <laughs> journey with us. It has been a crazy three weeks. I wouldn't have traded it for a single thing in the world. It was incredible. Babe, thank you for bringing me on this crazy journey. I owe so much to this dude right here. Make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already. We're so sorry the videos are getting posted late. The Wi-Fi here has not been our friend, but we are still definitely getting tons of crazy content for you guys. I'm still posting a ton on Instagram, so make sure you guys are following at Dan and Shell right here on Instagram. Also, they have been posting a ton from our trip on their Instagrams at Ali Mon right here at Sean Bingham. We love you guys. Subscribe down below. Turn on your notifications. We will see you in the U.S. of A. <laughs> ciao for now. Ciao for now. Ciao. <laughs> ciao. 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 ciao, ciao. Guys, this umbrella has gotten us through many a rainy day <laughs> here in Europe. But we're not taking him home. We're gonna leave him here. It still worked though. It still kept me dry. After Shell bought her poncho, I used this thing quite a bit. Guys, I know we already said goodnight, but good night again. <laughs>